Okay, hi, it's Kimberly with Snuggle Babies Nursery again. Well, I should have showed you this in my last video, but what I'm doing is I am rooting her eyelashes. So, I'm using the root a loop method with some hair. Beautiful mohair that I bought from Angora Motique. You can do this with almost any mohair. And I have this nice little tuft of hair right here. And um, I am going to show you how I root her eyelashes. Now, I don't typically do rooting on open eye dolls, although I'm going to try to practice it more. I just, unless they have a really good eye, upper eyelid, it's very hard to do it. But you can see I just started rooting her with um, this beautiful mohair. And um, I'm trying to do her... I painted her lower lashes on, so you I don't know if you can see that. There's a very fine lower lash there that I hand painted because I figured I wouldn't be able to fit lower lashes. But if I hand painted them, that they would show. So, and they do, and they look really cute. I know this camera is not catching it. Wait, there it goes. You can see it. The upper lashes I am rooting. I'm using a needle that I got from uh, McPherson Crafts. These are beautiful little needles. I love them. I think this one is maybe like a 38G or something like that. I, I don't know. Just go to their website. You'll see them there. They're awesome and worth the money. Now I'm going to just right here. There's her line of her um, her eye just like on this side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle I'm going to take this hair, this this loop of hair, and I'm basically just going to pull a tiny bit of hair into the needle. I'm going to tuck this hair, and I know it's kind of hard, tuck the hair into the crack. And I'm going to point the needle at myself and push it in. I'm just kind of gently pull back, catch some more hair, pull it out. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that at all. Try to get the camera in a little bit closer. There we go. See that? A little bit hard. Pushing this in, pulling out. Pushing this in, pulling out. Pushing this needle in and pulling out. And I'm going gently so I don't break my needle. There's no reason to break your needle. Just take your time. Just keep pushing in. And I just kind of go along. Don't make, don't put too many hairs in one spot. Just kind of go along. If you have to go back over an area a few times and put a few extra hairs in, that's great. And um, she's getting real pretty eyelashes here. Now I'm just going to keep trying to keep the eyelash hair going into that. Um, little space where her eyelid is. And I just catch some hair in there and push it in. Catch some hair and push it in. Now if she had eyeballs in, you'd have to be real careful, but I try not to do, um, I do the bait, the applied eyelashes when there's eyes myself. That's just my method. This is my method. Now um, I kind of learned this from another artist. Basically, so I've rooted a good portion of lashes. I'll probably definitely add a lot more because this is very fine mohair. And then what you're going to do is at the end, you're just going to wet this hair and stick it to the forehead and just let it dry for like 10 or 15 minutes. You're going to wet it again and stick it to the forehead and just let it sit there and it will eventually stand up and stay in place. And then what you can do is... Um, you can trim them up when you're done. So, and I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to show you that on this video, but I'll try. Not now. So, actually, I probably don't think I'll be able to. You see how this hair is starting to come out? So, I'm just gonna try to fix my hair again. Straighten my mohair out. Hold it over my finger. Make a nice little loop. So, this is the root of a loop method. There's other ways you might be able to do this, but um, this is the way I feel comfortable doing it. 
So I'm just going to kind of push some hairs in, pull it out, push it in, pull it out. And this is such fine mohair, so I'm just going to try to just make sure it looks nice and even so that when I trim it, it looks like I have even eyelashes all the way down the row. Most of that's pretty good, but I see she could probably use a little bit more right here. Do you see how that's kind of not as thick as the rest? So I'm just putting her eyelashes in, rooting my needle right into that um, little ledge there, right where her eyelid is. Let's see, how am I doing? I gotta see in the light how I'm doing. I'm just kind of keep putting a few hairs in right where it looks like she doesn't have as many because I want an even amount of lashes. She still needs eyelashes in that spot. It's being stubborn. Stubborn. She is super cute. I just love her. She's I have a hard time parting with all my babies. I get so like in love with them by the time I um, have them all ready to go. And I know I'm going to end up making her some stuff. But anyways, see how that is? Now that's going to be her eyelashes once you wet them and let them dry. And um, you might have a few scragglers that you want to pull out with the tweezers. If they don't look right, you can pull these little scragglers out, um, which I might, you know, once in a while you might have one you want to pull out if it doesn't lay nicely. And um, after this dries, uh, y'all just wet it um, with some spray, like some conditioning spray that you can make yourself with a little bit of conditioner and some water. Or you can just use plain water, which a lot of people say just use plain water. So. Um, Anyways, um, you can wet it and let it dry, like comb it up on her forehead and let it dry. I'm going to start on this side of her eyes. I'm just going to start poking the needle in like that. I don't know if you can see me well or not. It's a little bit blurry on this camera. Turn on camera. I don't know what your problem is. So I'm just basically aiming this needle at myself because that is the way this needle works. The, the notch on the needle is aimed at me. So I'm going to push in, pull up, stick it back in the next spot, push in, pull up. As you can see, I'm getting little hairs in there. She's slowly getting eyelashes. A few at a time. I don't, you know, this needle only pushes in like one or two hairs at a time, so that's only because I'm using this method. It could be less if I was doing a different method. You can see she's starting to get a few eyelashes. There's not a lot there yet, but she is slowly getting them. Probably because I'm putting them on the wrong side of her head. Because I'm tired and I don't think I'm paying attention. I keep adding eyelashes in there. I'm glad I get to root her eyelashes because I really like doing that. It's kind of fun. And I just keep going along, putting a few in and then pulling up and then moving down a little bit to the next spot. There's no perfect way to do this. Um, and I did kind of learn this method from a wonderful doll artist named Jackie Ortiz. I really enjoy watching her videos. And, um, kind of just learn to stick the hair in and trim it up after you've let it dry. That looks pretty good. Um, but if you want to learn how to do it the right way, go talk to her. Go watch her videos because she's fantastic. I mean, I'm just showing you what I learned, but it's her method. And I mean, I'm sure this is the way everybody does it, but she's got a good video that goes through a lot of it with you. So I think um, this hair is so fine 
I got to put a little extra in because it is super fine hair. It's probably yearling or something like that. And um, I want to put enough hair in that it looks like real eyelashes. It's in the very corner. And you can see this is kind of no longer really in much of a loop. So I just kind of pull the edge of the mohair out and straighten it back into one big piece. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of messy. And then what I do, sometimes if it seems like it's coming apart, I pull it apart and then I put it back together. And then I, I press that little loop back around my finger like that. And then what that allows me to do is, allows me to do is to get a nice loop again, which I am going to continue to push in and make eyelashes with. I'm sorry if my camera is so dark. It's really late at night, but if it wasn't, my kids would be making noise, my dogs would be barking, the birds would be chirping, my husband would be on the phone having tons of meetings because his job is just that way. And I would not get this video made. So as you can see, her eyelashes are looking pretty good. I think she could use a few more right in here. Looks a little bit um, like it doesn't have enough. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. See how cute those are? So I'll probably put a little bit more in here and in this area right here because I'm looking at them. I'm looking for where it looks like it could use a few more eyelashes. That's about where it now don't forget when you're gluing the hair in, you want to also go back, make sure you're gluing over your eyelashes. And this doll is not going to need eyes because her eyes are closed. So just make sure you're putting some glue in to make sure you hold this hair in place. Um, but you don't have to do the glue till you're done with all your rooting. You know, it's kind of pointless to do it twice. So um, you just go along on your eyelashes. Just kind of re-poke it in and try to make sure your hair is laying nice. I'm not really sure that it does any good to do this, but um, if you notice any spots where you definitely need more hair, you should give it a shot by sticking your hair over the eye, pushing it in, pulling it up. See that? Pushing it in, pulling it up. That's all I'm doing. It's not real hard. Now, granted, it does take a little bit of being careful so you don't poke yourself, being careful so that you're not damaging your doll in any way, being careful so that you're properly treating the mohair right so that you don't break it. And let me tell you what, my first doll, she looked like corned beef and hash. <laughs> she looks so bad. I used her to test things on because there is no way I was selling that doll. The second one looked pretty good, um, but her eyebrows were a little thick. And the good thing is, if we can just realize um, what we're doing wrong so that we learn for the next the future, you know, our dolls are going to get better and better. And, um, Anyway, so I think I'm done with her eyelashes. I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of like little black strings or little hairs. <laughs> and um, I basically uh, stuck them in. Now, if you see anything that doesn't look right, you could just use your needle to kind of push them in a little bit better. Make sure they lay nice, if they don't look right. If you're missing a little spot, I think I could actually use another eyelash right up in here looks kind of sparse right there, so let me add a couple more. And where did I say I needed that? Right there. A couple more in here. I'll try to keep them even and uniform so that 
They don't look like they're coming out of every different weird spot on the face. And just make sure you're getting a nice, even application. Put a couple more in her inner eye lid area. All right, so I think they look pretty good. Kind of weird looking. <laughs> she looks like some kind of a furry troll or something. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I have some water. What is it? Here it is. Okay, so I have some water, which I put in a little spray bottle. And I'm just going to give it a quick spray like that. And I am going to brush her little eyelashes straight up. Make sure I comb it really good. Now her paint's been sealed, so she's got to be careful not to do anything bad to her um, her her uh, texture on her skin. So just be careful not to scratch her or anything. So I'm just brushing it up. I'm just going to leave it up like that. A little bit more right on her little eyelashes so they stay up. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. It doesn't take long, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll just dry off her face a little bit. It's not really, really wet. And as you can see, I just brush those eyebrows right up with my little toothbrush. It's the same brush I use um, for the hair. Now, I do kind of fan them out a little bit so they look like little eyelashes, so when they, when you do trim them, hopefully they'll stick, they'll kind of fan out and stick up. Um, these ones over here are a little bit weird, so I'm just going to poke them in a little bit more and try to get them to lay nicer. Here, which I don't know why, but it seems to help. Uh, anyways, so okay, so her hair is sticking up, and I'll probably let her dry this way. And I'll clean her. I'll do it again. But right now, I'm going to work on. Hmm, how can I root her and have her eyelashes up straight? You see how she looks? Isn't that crazy? She looks so cute, though. Let's see. What was I going to name her? Oh, let me check real quick. Changed it. Um, she is going to be, and I don't know why it keeps getting changed back. Um, well, her original name was Kaylin. Um, she's a bountiful baby kit, and um, but what I I I was going to call her Kaylin Joy, but then I decided to give her a real African name. So her name is now Shakia Condra. Isn't that sweet? It's very authentic. African name, and I think it's so cute. She's just going to be such a beautiful little baby for someone, and whoever her real mommy is can rename her if they want. But um, basically, when you brush the hair and it's not glued in, just be careful because you don't want to pull out all the rooting that you spent all that time doing. Um, I'm rooting her very sparsely because she's going to be a newborn baby. Right now, I'm just going to lay her head down like that because her eyebrows are sticking up. I just hope they stay up. I'm going to do some more rooting, and hope in a few minutes, I'll come back.